from what I've heard right now from the students and from other people of what's going on in the public school system right now, it's, it's a very dangerous place for a Jewish neshama. Thinking of one girl in particular who came from a public high school and she was very traumatized there by some other students at the high school and she had a very high level of anxiety. We're exposed to things that I would hope they had would not have been exposed till to like college age yeah and their attitude and their language and their clothing and everything changed went downhill like in two three months yeah. when i was in public school at least um, i didn't really have a lot of jewish friends it was very hard to find them and a lot of the activities they had and held in place at the school really excluded me from there. They were um, exposed to celebrating all kinds of different holidays that weren't the Jewish holidays. It was like a Christmas dance and we were all like speaking about the how Christmas Christmas got its name and stuff and it's like pretty uncomfortable. Um, like a lot of the activities held place on Shabbat they held uh, non-kosher food, and I didn't really feel like at home. I didn't feel like in touch with Judaism, and um, I wasn't really that religious and like educated. The things that are being taught to our Jewish uh, neshamot in public school system is detrimental. I've seen the consequence of the choice that some parents made in the early stage of sending their children to public school thinking there will be no tuition, it'll be so much easier for them. The price they end up paying it was a lot more in the later years. It's very important because the assimilation rate in the, in the world today amongst the Jews is, is almost 75, 80 percent. It's something that, you know, we as Jewish parents try so hard to shelter our children from and it's very sad to see that, you know, because of a financial roadblock, Many of these families just have no option but to leave their children in public school. It's not that they don't want to be in a Jewish school system, it's that they're just not able to. And it was a huge change in this girl's life. And I think that if she wouldn't have come to us and left that public school that she was in, um, I don't think she would have been in any school at all. Often the question that schools ask about uh, students is more about um, can they fit into our school and enhance our school. But Yad Menachem is asking a different question, a question that parents don't expect to hear. The question is, hey, can we make this work for you? Can we open a door for you that you thought would never be possible? We had a whole discussion with my husband. He didn't want the extra burden of the tuition, obviously, the tuition is very high. And at the end of that year, we really had no money left. It was um, a very hard feeling of just real financial difficulties. So at the very last minute, we had to put our son Sebastian in public school, and it was very hard. Sometimes the gap is just too big, and there's no way to bridge that gap between what the family is able to pay and what we're able to offer. It's very difficult for for any parent to have to ask for assistance. She connected us with Yad Menachem and we filled out an application mid-school year. And the process of Yad Menachem is a very straightforward process. That was the motivator to put him in Jewish school. Having someone there and saying, I'm going to help you go through the process, I'm going to call the school, I'm going to, to, to make sure that you're understood and they understand you and, and give you whatever financial support we can and more, it, it, it's a game changer. For a lot of people, ourselves included, getting a quality um, religious education can be a challenge in Los Angeles. This is where Yad Menachem stepped in and, and thank God helped this family. And today, this boy's graduating in a couple weeks from now and he will be attending a Jewish high school. When Yad Menachem comes in and helps him with that, he gives them an incredible encouragement. Knowing that it's not gonna be a burden on them, that makes a huge difference in their lives and the life of their children. When I went to a Jewish school, the kids were really nice. And I had a really good education. And everything basically changed. I've seen amazing results, um, something that I could never have imagined. 
I see, I see this on a daily basis also. I mean, you see um, kids who were uh, in a public school system who really didn't even read Hebrew and today is learning Gemara. We see the changes in them over this past year. And because of Yad Menachem, you know, that person has a different future. And now we're towards the end of the year, the kids are flying, they're learning, they're excited. The Jewish child, this Jewish neshama, who's been moved from school to school to school, has finally found his home in this Jewish educational setting. When, when a, a child en enters Jewish school, not only is it uh, saving this child's neshama, but it really can have an effect on the whole family. The Thanks to the Yad Menachem Fund, these kids had an opportunity to be in a Jewish school, to have a Jewish, Jewish education, and to really uh, grow in Yiddishkeit. As opposed to now, like he's like, school is my happy place, and it's the best place on earth. I love going there. He asked to do um, after school at school, so he could be at school longer. I realized how much better it was for me, how much my life changed and how much I learned for Judaism, how much um, made me a better Jew, a better person, and how much more friends I got in there, how many more activities I participated in, and even my grades got better when I got there. I got so much more help. Like, so they're davening. They're davening again in the morning, and they're talking about Torah, you know, Arab Shabbat. When we sit down for Shabbat dinner, they have things to say. I was like really happy when I didn't have to do Christmas carols in a Jewish school. It really like changed my life. And, and the religious schools seemed a much safer, less volatile environment to, to, to kids can just learn rather than constantly being pulled. Because LAUSD in particular became very focused on the politics. The politics became infused into the education system. I can say right now that the child is, is going off to Israel. Uh, now to uh, learn the, uh, the school in Israel. Sometimes Eli would teach us things that we had, we didn't know. He's brought to us, um, you know, seeing the change from a public school student that was looking for a Jewish education to actually getting a Jewish education and their personalities and their comfort level um, has been amazing. Yad Menachem in his first year brought 18 children to attend Jewish schools. This past year, with $195,000 raised, we were able to take 54 precious Jewish children out of public school into local Jewish day schools. And this coming year, they're hoping to bring 75 children. Please help us reach our goal. There are thousands of these children that need assistance and thousands of them that we could help get out of the public school system with you know, generous funding and help from people. I think that we could, we could make a huge difference. Yad Menachem is a lifeline for Jewish children across Los Angeles. And uh, there's no better investment than in Jewish education and turning over a family from a public school environment where they learn nothing about their Jewish heritage to a Jewish school where they get the, uh, to uh, learn a lot about what it means to be a Jew. Literally saving their lives. I've seen with my own eyes, both extremes. By helping out this organization, you're not just saving a child, you're saving a whole family and generations to come. It enables children to get a Jewish education, and that's our future. To give that help, to be able to make this sort of dream come true of having a Jewish education is a real, real mitzvah. They're just like, if you need it, we're there for you. And it's just like, <laughs> it's just been amazing. My kids have had an amazing year, and I'm so happy and so grateful. And I hope that more people donate because I want other kids to have the experience that my kids are having this year. Help Yad Menachem invest in these precious Jewish neshamas. We can't afford to lose one more Jewish child. <laughs>